Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is uh, Turkey's official Wonder Boy Rooster Red. I'm, I'm sorry this video is late. First off, it's like a week late or something like that. Um, long story short, I went to San Antonio, met my family, met with uh, Larry Kovac himself, all that jazz, and I just didn't really have time to upload any videos, better yet, edit or film or any of that. Uh, more importantly though, enough of that, we have this bagel looking thing, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but that's what we're eating today, so let's get into this. So in Larry Kovacs recent uh, whiskey wines, um, I think it's called uh, Lonely Fireball or something like that, um, he talks about being lonely, um, that's the title Lonely Fireball. And I could definitely relate to this because I feel lonely a lot. Um, I hadn't even like had a girlfriend in like it's been a long, it's been a long time. Not for lack of trying, what the record show. Um, I'm just a, I'm a loser, so it's you know. Anyways, I can definitely um, relate to being lonely, and I get that sometimes my roommates are gone for like a week at a time too, and that you know it, you definitely feel it. However, I feel a different kind of sensation. I'll feel paranoid. It'll be 2 in the morning, I'm trying to get water from the kitchen. And I see it into the dark void that is my roommate's room, and I'm like, if something comes out of there, I'm gonna have to kill it. And I don't know if I had that in me. You know, I'm just I'm constantly paranoid because usually there's always noise in my, in my apartment, in my house. So if there's not someone else here or something, you know, if I'm not having the interaction, then something must be up. Evil is afoot. And I don't like it. So a couple of the ways I deal with being alone is um, I pour myself into my craft. I have multiple, so I kind of just pick one and I go at it. So uh, step one though, you can actually, you can go on Tinder and you can just try and talk to girls and usually that doesn't work. So then you move on to phase two. Phase two is where you pour yourself into your craft, so like the gym or YouTube or maybe, um, you know, if you have some illegal side activity that you like to do, you can do that too. Um, I highly recommend that one. Um, you know, you can plan out future plans. You can go somewhere with your boys, with your friends. So that's kind of how I deal with being alone. And um, you can really learn a lot about yourself whenever you're alone. Sometimes you might, you know, fall deep into your feelings and might feel like an endless pit of uh, despair as you start overthinking every scenario in the world. But, luckily for you, uh, sad boy music exists. Sad boy music channels your terrible thoughts and your loneliness and basically bakes it like yeast into beautiful bread. And, um, you know, it brings your spirits back up to a level where maybe you're not feeling as lonely and uh, you can go from there. So while we were in San Antonio for the weekend, per se, like Thursday through Sunday, um, we did forget to film a video um, or bad. I mean, there was multiple chances, kind of, a little bit, but it wouldn't have been great and it wasn't, you know, sometimes we were at a water park or on the river and you really can't film reliably with your technology that you don't want to get wet. So that's pretty sketchy. I'd say overall the um, that San Antonio and New Braunfels is was a missed opportunity. You know, we had the opportunity to make a video or two and um, we didn't, you know, and uh, that's on us. You know, we can try and do better in the future and that's I think what we always try and do, but I want to talk about missed opportunities right after this commercial break just kidding I don't, I don't have any commercials but maybe one day um, so missed opportunities I think missed opportunities are for me like not talking to that girl that was obviously you know hitting on you um, maybe taking a day off in the gym that you really know that you shouldn't just because you told yourself some excuse you know whatever you want to make yourself feel better you know, um, maybe you 
miss an opportunity at work or something like that. Missed opportunities happen to all of us. And for me, I think missed opportunities, like, it really hurts me whenever I miss uh, an opportunity that I really think I should have hit, you know? Um, personally, it's I see myself as not getting better. Like, I'm still missing these opportunities that I've been missing for years. And that's just, that's my problem that I have. So, for me, I want to get to a point where I... Because, like, everyone misses opportunities. That's fine. Every once in a while, though. Like, I want to stop missing opportunities as much as I used to. That's how I see myself progressing as a person. So, I guess the point of this video is, what's your take on missed opportunities? Do you ever have these moments where you really just beat yourself up? You know, hammer yourself down because you missed... Hold on one second. Because you miss these opportunities that you know that you really shouldn't have missed. You know, what are you doing as a person to try and hit more of these opportunities as they come up in life? Um, I'm working on it every day, and it's tough. You know, I always, I just hate myself every time I miss one, you know? Anyways, that's it for uh, this week's Bread Talks. If you enjoyed the video, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. Like it, it helps a lot, it makes me feel good inside. Uh, if you know how many times I change shirts, make sure you put that down in the comment section too. Next time.